Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light. to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ Make our darkness bright, for your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and light of all creation. Let my 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. A reading from John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. 
sisters and brothers. Many years ago, this was before our son Jerome, who's now 28, before he could even drive. Uh, we were on a, a family trip out to the West Coast. And by the end of the trip, it was just Jerome and me driving down the West Coast of, or the coast of California and then uh, to Las Vegas. He had to see that place where they do the, um, what's the, the pawn shop in, in uh, Las Vegas. And then we were driving home and he decided he really wanted us to drive straight through from Las Vegas to here, uh, which I had planned to break up into two, uh, two drives. Anyway, we got on the road, daytime turned to nighttime, the moon came up and went down, and it was really, really dark. And at one point, I remember stopping at a rest stop. And Jerome got out of the car and I turned off the lights. And he was absolutely spooked to see the stars the way he had never seen them before. A billion stars, you could count them. And it was spooky to him. Anyway, we got back in the car. We're driving across Nebraska which itself takes about eight days. <laughs> and it's straight. You're just driving east. And it was so dark. And so dark the moon wasn't there anymore. Just the stars, but they were so far away, they didn't cast any real light on the scene. And I was driving and driving. Hour after hour, you've done it. And then I see just a twinge of light on the eastern horizon. Just the promise of a new day. And as I kept on driving, that new day just kind of opened up as we drove into it. And light came back into the world. I'll never forget that, that feeling of almost jubilation seeing that first evidence of the new day. This long night was going to eventually be over. And the new day was dawning. Jesus is the dawn of a new day for us. Every single day that we can focus not on the darkness that surrounds us, but, but on the light of Christ that beckons us, beckons us forward into the new day where He's waiting for us, waiting to work with us to do His work that day in His name. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary.
You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God, most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness ever. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forever. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in of mercy hold us in love in peace in peace we pray to you god of mercy hold us in love god of mercy Hold us in love for peace between nations, for peace between peoples. God of mercy, hold us in love. God of mercy, hold us in love. God of mercy. Love for all of your sins.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Our Father Father in in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. Together. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. Live in Christ's light. Amen. Amen.